On Sunday, August 23, 2020, 29 year old Jacob Blake was shot in the back seven times by police in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Jacob survived, but is paralyzed from the waist down and has other serious internal injuries. There are several things you can do to help. Jacob's family has started GoFundMe to help with medical bills, legal fees, and other expenses. You can donate to the Milwaukee Freedom Fund, which is extending support to protesters in Kenosha that are arrested. Sign the change.org and color of change petitions demanding justice for Jacob Blake and call and write to local Wisconsin authorities found in this list by Ankita Verma to demand justice for Jacob Blake. All resources will be linked in the description of this video. Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, this is Blitz Day DIY, and today I wanted to share a, a very helpful uh, thing you can do for Raspberry Pi that I saw uh, on a blog post. Magpie a Magazine every Monday will ask, oh, what'd you do for Raspberry Pi over the weekend? And people will re reply. Uh, and I saw back in May that someone replied that they got their Raspberry Pi uh, Zero working as a USB webcam. To me, that's pretty huge because to have a plug and play DIY webcam, pretty great. I've seen other uh, ways you can do it over network, but that's not the most stable, especially if, you're in, if your connection's already like struggling. Uh, so I think a lot of us are using uh, webcams either socially or for work or for school right now. Uh, and also webcams are hard to find. So I put it away for a rainy day uh, that rainy day has come, uh, and so uh, I investigate. So the original blog post is by David Hunt on his WordPress blog. He has a lot of really great resources on there in general, but especially this blog post uh, is just top notch. So I follow that blog post, and as you can see right here, it's a Pi Zero running as a webcam. And you can see on my screen here, I just have a Zoom meeting running just by myself with the camera hooked up, and it it's working and it looks good. It's using the the HQ cam, uh, which is the new um, high quality camera for the Pi, uh, and it it work it works really well. Uh, and so I just wanted to kind of highlight uh, that blog post and also tell you it's it's easy. It's really easy to get up and running. Uh, so if you're you know still in school and you want a webcam, maybe your laptop one, maybe your laptop doesn't come with a webcam or maybe your laptop webcam is, eh. um, or if you're like me and you run a desktop and so you don't have a built-in webcam anywhere, um, this is this is definitely an option. This blog post, uh, it walks you through everything you need to do and, and what's happening, and the reason why it works with a Pi Zero is that the Pi Zero's USB, uh, it's not on a hub, it, it's instead by itself. And actually, the way that the firmware works, it, it can be basically changed so that it becomes a USB device. So basically, when you follow the steps of the blog post, all you're doing is running some scripts uh, and loading in some firmware so that when you boot up the Pi, it's basically putting uh, an overlay on it so that it can boot in as a webcam. That's all you're doing. You're basically just almost putting like a mask over the Pi to say, hey, this is actually a webcam when it plugs in there, uh, which I think is really cool. <laughs> and it, it works. Now, um, I run Windows machines, uh, and I have noticed that when you first plug it in, first of all, the, the zero has to boot for a second, so it's not going to come up right away. Uh, but then, after it boots up, uh, I will always get an error that says, there's a malfunction with this USB device, yada, yada. But then, like, right after that, I hear the USB, like, connection sound and it shows up. It shows up as UVC camera and I believe it's the UVC firmware. If you look at that blog post that's actually being used so that that's why. Uh, and it it just works. <laughs> it just works after that. And I've gotten it to work in Zoom. I've gotten it to work in OBS. I've gotten it to work with Google Hangouts. Uh, and if you don't have a high quality camera, don't worry because the original camera module, the little guy, which probably has the same camera quality as like a built-in laptop camera, so there's that. It does work. Uh, the only thing is with that is you have to, uh, when you enable the camera on the Pi, uh, you have to have the camera hooked up to it that you want to use with it. So if you originally hook it up with the HQ camera and do the whole reboot and everything, if you then plug in the original, I don't know if that's a high quality, so it's a low quality. <laughs> No, the original like tiny camera, it'll say that it's not recognized and you don't have a camera connected uh, through the ribbon cable. So what you do is you actually disable the camera and Raspi config 
reboot, plug in whatever camera module you want to use, and then re-enable it. The reason why I imagine is it's a different you know driver on driver chip on each camera, so that's why they're not hot swappable. But just just a little note in my experiments, that's that's what I found. But the script does work um, just as long as you have a camera plugged into the the ribbon cable slot, uh, then it it will work, which I think is pretty great. <laughs> uh, so now to like to house it, like there are uh, some cases available out there that you can have the camera attached to your Pi and it's all plastic. Uh, this uh, is actually a case designed by Ruiz Brothers for Adafruit, um, originally for a full-size Pi. I remixed the file so that the Pi Zero can mount in the back here and then the USB can hang down at the bottom. So uh, you can do that and then you can use like a tripod mount uh, because the HQ camera has that tripod mount there. Uh, and then you can just put a tripod like on your desk or over your monitor or next to your laptop or whatever you're doing uh, so that you can be seen on camera. Uh, and I'll release those files. It, there is a back. Um, I just, I need to do a little bit of, of tweaking uh, before uh, it, can, it can snap in. But when that's all set, I'll, I'll release it as a remix to that original file. But the directions on the blog are super straightforward. So if you have just a basic Linux experience, you'll be able to do it. And then after that, it's plug and play. So also, if you like, if you just know people that need a webcam, um, I mean, you think if you do a Pi Zero without Wi-Fi, that's five dollars. And then if you were to go with the cheaper camera module, I think they go for like twenty to twenty-five dollars. So that's a thirty-dollar plug and play USB webcam. That that's pretty great, especially like the price gouging I've seen on the webcams has been absolutely nuts um it it's awful <laughs> and you have i have faculty like emailing me asking like how what webcam should i get they're also expensive and i'm just like because ah. they're also usually there's a lot of off-brand ones that have come into the market the deliveries aren't being fulfilled pretty awful <laughs> so uh if you uh know people that need webcams this could be a way uh to help them out you can still access the raspian files uh OS with this. Uh, you can either use uh, PuTTY or other uh, a way to access the serial monitor and you can dial in that way or and, and open up terminal. And the other way if you want to actually get the GUI up uh, with the HDMI output is uh, there's two text files that you edit um, when you're doing the full setup and you just take out those two lines. They're just basically putting an overlay on the screen so that you're not getting um, a video output. Uh, you just take those out and you can still access uh, so if you need to, for example, change what camera is connected, you can do it that way. But yeah, just a cool little thing you can do with your Raspberry Pi. I think this is really powerful. But uh, for me, I did actually want a second webcam for some stuff I'm doing for work. So that's why I looked into this. Uh, so uh, definitely a cool option in these times we're living in. Uh, and it's, uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, so that's going to do it for this video. Just a fun Raspberry Pi thing. I think it's really useful. Uh, definitely check out the link to David Hunt's blog uh, down in the description. Uh, follow the steps and you will have a USB webcam. Cool. Uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, consider subscribing more content like this. Uh, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY. Blitz City Inception. Ooh.